Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you the third page in my traveling journal. On this page we have a little bit more sketches, uh, all the roads lead, lead to Rome, a couple more pictures, and for this we will be using tea bags. So we will be transferring images onto a tea bag and then applying them to the page. Let's get started. Decorate the third page in our traveling journal. We'll be using napkins. I have those brown napkins from A&W. I do like them because they are a little bit thicker. It will be easier to print. And I'll show you how to prepare it. But before we start, this is printed page. You see, it's quite nice. Um, with the thinner napkin, um, not only the page ripped, but also, as you can see, this ink pieces all over the place. So the thicker the napkin, uh, the better it will be, it, it, the easier will be to use this uh, method. When printing on a napkin, we need to make sure that we only use the inject printer. Laser printer is not safe. Actually, napkin might catch on fire, so we definitely don't want to use the laser printer. So just please stick to inject printer when printing on a napkin. To print on a napkin, we need to attach it to the paper. Um, it's easier to print on a napkin if the paper is thicker than the regular copy paper. So for this purpose, I, all, I use 24 pounds, which is 90 grams per square meter. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this aside. So we're going to get the napkin ready. I'm going to use the, just a regular glue stick. And first I'm going to start with gluing the top. Part. I'm also going to leave a little bit of space on at the edge of the paper. This is where I'm going to uh, place the paper into the printer. So to make sure that doesn't catch and rip, um, I'm leaving this tiny little space of the paper. You can see that here. Next step is to do glue the both sides. And I do this at the same time. And what we want to do is we want to guide the napkin so it's straightened. If it's a little bit wrinkly, it's okay. Um, the last part is the very bottom of the page. going to trim this part once your glue is dried before you start printing make sure that you choose the paper, paper side 8 by 10 uh, we do have this edge that we're not going to be able to use so we want to make sure that the picture is a little bit smaller and also please remember that the paper needs to go in the printer with this straight edge in. For the next step we're going to need a few items. So we're going to need tea bags that are dry of course. Some of them as you can see have some tea stains which makes it for more interesting end result. Of course our printed napkin, uh, just a regular school glue, a brush, some kind of a container uh, to put glue that is mixed with water. So first of all, we're going to cut out the images, which I'm going to do right now off camera, not to waste your time. I'm going to mix the glue with water. We're going to put two parts of, of glue and one part of water. And I actually added a couple of drops of essential oil. Um, it kind of gives it a very nice smell. And the process is quite simple. So we take an image, we place it on the seal lining, and then we want to choose our tea bag. Um, and I think for this one, that will actually look good. 
I might just make it a little bit smaller here so it's still off the edge. So first step is to apply the glue to the napkin image. We really want to soak it, so be generous with the amount of the glue. Next, we're going to put tea bag on top of it and follow with glue. that should do it. The last very important step is to push the edges in, creating a sort of like a frame. And the reason we do that is because when it dries, it actually will help us with peeling the tea bag from the cereal lining. So we're just going to go all around and make the edge. The nice thing about this is that we can actually also push it in this case because our sentiment is curved. We can actually push this tea back all the way in and that adds another dimension to the image. Just like that. So then we continue with our pictures, our sketches in the same manner, and then this has to dry for about 24 hours. Those tea bags are dry now. We are going to peel them off from the cereal box lining. You look, it's quite see through and also looks very grungy on the edges. I really like that look. All roads lead to Rome, and as well as a couple of sketches. And I believe I'm gonna go with Trevi. And of course, Colosseum, it is a set, one of seven wonders. And I feel that this page could be decorated a little bit more. So let's see what we can do here. To add some more interest to this page, I did two cutouts on my die-cut machine. One of them is a paper cheesecloth. I do believe that I'm gonna try to ink it. And this can go under the All Roads Lead to Rome. And the second one 
I cut it out from the brown paper bag and I got two of them and I think I'm gonna put them right one on top second one will go on the bottom and I think that we need maybe a little bit more a little bit of lace here I have a couple of pieces here I don't think this one will work maybe this one Yeah, I think that looks good, so I'm gonna put this all together. Page I designed for this part is available on my coffee shop. I will post the link below. I hope you like it. And next week we're gonna start working on the page number four. Bye for now and have a great day.